What is up guys, it's Modded Warfare here and welcome back to another video. So as you can probably tell from the title, this is an announcement video that we are finally releasing Apparition Net Studio, which has been a long time coming, but it's finally out now. The link will be in the description to where you can purchase it if you wish to do so. So for people who don't know Apparition Net Studio, it's basically an all-in-one modding program for your JTAG or RGH console. So the idea is that we're just trying to make an all-in-one solution, kind of like how Horizon is an all-in-one solution for save game modding. Well, Apparition Net's like uh, an all-in-one solution for JTAG and RGH modding, essentially. That's that's basically what we were going for with our original Apparition Net, and we've extended that greatly with Apparition Net Studio. So for um, to basically go into detail or explain Apparition Net for people who don't know about it or, or even about the original tool, uh, people who have maybe subscribed since that one was shut down. So originally we started a project called Apparition Net, which was, again, trying to make it an all-in-one solution for modding for JTAGs and RGHs. And it started off with no tools in it whatsoever, and we would slowly um, add mod tools and updates, which, which is what we were doing. I'll try and get images of the old tool if I can find any. Um, we released it in 2014. And uh, yeah, I'll see if I can get any images to put up on screen to show you this. But that was the original Apparition Net. We added lots of mod tools, eventually got it into a state where it had quite a few good mod tools in there. We had about, I don't know, five or six Call of Duty mod tools in there. We had um, Halo 3, Halo 4. We had a bunch of Indian arcade games, a couple of console tools. So it ended up being quite a big application and quite a popular application. And Towards the end of Apparition Net 1, which was when we were on about 65 or 66 updates uh, that we had made to the tool, it was getting very, very slow. Um, eventually, yeah, it gets slowed down quite a lot after all those updates because um, there was just so much stuff in there and we could have coded it better, essentially. So it was very heavy on people's computers and it was taking a long time to open. So we decided that we would try and recode the whole application to make it uh, lighter on your system so it's not going to um, be, be as slow and as buggy. So that's basically the, the idea behind Apparition Net 2 and we started working on that. But the original idea was that we would keep running Apparition Net 1 and then eventually once we'd finished Apparition Net 2 we would just release an update for App Net 1 that would bring everyone over to the new version on Apparition Net 2. So that was the that was the plan, but unfortunately um, that plan was basically sabotaged by someone who was a trusted friend at the time and he owned the server that Apparition Net was um, hosted on and he basically one day screwed us over for some reason. He decided to screw us over and tried to release all of the information on the server and just dump everything, um, you know, steal all the offsets, that kind of thing. So we had to, we had to shut the server down. It was our only option to try and safeguard any of that information, and therefore Apparition Net One was shut down at that point. So ever since then, and that was 2015, um, that was shut down. Ever since then. Um, you know, it's been shut down and we've been working on Apparition Net 2 and trying to get that out. And unfortunately, the main developer also moved on to other projects. So for a good amount of time, he wasn't working on Apparition Net at all. I didn't have the coding experience to finish it myself. So um, it just kind of sat there as a side project that never really got finished. So I'm finally glad that we've finally finished it. So that's that's good news. And um, like I say, link will be in the description to where you can buy it. So Apparition Net Studio, we've kind of tried to expand on the whole um, on the whole all-in-one solution with lots more console tools, lots more mod tools. We have 27 mod tools in the application. Um, we have 33 tools in total. That includes console tools. So there's 33 different tools in the application. And that's also not including some little smaller ones as well that are that are in there. So that's a pretty pretty big application. Yeah, and we are charging $25 for it. The original Apparition Net, we were charging $35 for it. At least in the first week of releasing Apparition Net 2, it's going to be $25, or Apparition Net Studio, my bad. We kind of rebranded it from Apparition Net 2 to Apparition Net Studio because there's a lot. It's a pretty big tool. So, yeah, Apparition Net Studio is... It uh, costs $25, that's how much we're charging for it, and the original Apparition Net was $35, so, you know, this time you're getting a tool that has much more options for a cheaper price, 
the price may increase over time as we add updates, but at least for the first week, for sure, it's going to be $25. That's the standard price for the application as it stands at the moment. So yeah, that's the idea. We're releasing that, guys. I hope you enjoy it. I do want to apologize to you guys for taking so long in getting ApparitionNet out. My YouTube channel has also suffered um, because of this, because I've been working on ApparitionNet a lot of the time, trying to get it out. And, you know, every time I'm like, oh, I need to make a video for YouTube. But then I'm like, oh, I need to get ApparitionNet done at the same time. So um, sometimes I've not uploaded videos or I've delayed videos because I've just been working on Apparition X. The time just flies when you're coding, um, when you're coding. So that kind of sucks. So I'm glad to get it out because I can now also focus on getting lots more videos because I'm going to have loads of videos over the next week of all the different features in Apparition Net Studio. And then I'm also going to have, um, I can also start up my coding tutorial series again and make more videos on that as well as um, just have more freedom to upload more videos in general now. Uh, so we're still going to be updating the tool as it goes along. It's still not 100% finished, but it's definitely in a state now where I think it's um, well worth the purchase price and it's got plenty of features um, to keep people happy for a while. And we're going to be, again, up, uh, constantly updating it. So there's still more that needs to be added. There's more stuff that needs to go into the, the Call of Duty tools. There's more stuff that needs to go. Uh, there's more tools that need to be added um, and various other things as well as bug fixes, etc. But it's definitely in a good state now where it's well worth the purchase price. So that's it. That is it. We're finally releasing it. I'm just <laughs> so glad that it's finally been released. So yeah, I do apologize for the length of time it's taken. Um, we we were thinking, should we should we um, treat this as a brand new product? Because it basically is. I mean, it's been God knows how many uh, months since the last apparition net so we were thinking should we just release this as a new project project so people who own the original apparition net will just have to buy another license we are willing to um upgrade people for free who have bought the original apparition net but it's going to be a very slow process because and i i wish there was a simpler solution to this but we need to verify that people have actually paid for the original tool. Otherwise, everyone's just going to be trying to say they bought the original tool to get a, get a free license. So, yeah, we don't have much other options other than to just manually check, which means uh, if you are, if you did own the original AppNet and you want to get ApparitionNet Studio for free, then you're going to have to message the ApparitionNet AIM account. I will have cleared all the previous messages from that account. So if you have left any messages on that aim, your that message will be, uh, we, we will not see that message. You'll have to send a new message. But bear in mind, it's going to be a slow process. You're going to need your transaction ID from PayPal and the email address you paid to, um, as well as your username, etc. So we're going to need, to, so it's not, it's not going to be an easy process to upgrade people. Um, but it is a cheap tool. So if you want to just buy it, it's only $25 and there's an auto buy that you can buy from the link in the description. But we are going to try and upgrade people who had the original app net. It's, it's only fair to do that, but it's going to be a slow and difficult process to, to get that underway. So yeah, anyway, that is uh, Apparition Net Studio. So thank you guys for, um, for listening or watching this video. Um, I'm sure I'll get a lot of hate in the comments because there's a lot of people who are... Um, will be annoyed that uh, Apparition Net is coming out or just annoyed that it's taken so long, which is which is fair. That that's It's fair criticism. It has taken very long, way too long to get this uh, project out. But I am just happy that it's out so we can focus on other things and I can make lot, uh, I can get the videos I was wanting to make finally done. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, um, then go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll have plenty of videos coming soon on ApparitionNet. The first video will be a general overview of the whole tool, um, showing you basically everything that's in the mod tool, and then I'll have individual in-depth videos on, on each feature kind of thing as well in, in the tool. So that's what's coming up, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Shuffling